is County Councilman Big John. Hi, I'm Big John, County Councilman at Large from beautiful Daytona Beach, Florida, the home of the Daytona 500. I'd like to welcome all you WWF wrestling fans here to the Ocean Center, our new arena here in Daytona Beach. Thanks for watching. Welcome everyone to the Superstars of Wrestling. I'm Vince McMahon along with Jesse the Body Ventura. What are you doing? I'm warming up for the Daytona 500. You're going to enter the Daytona 500? Yep. That's about the only thing you have bright enough to do because you just go round and round and round that oval, right? That's what I thought. Let's get to action.
to be joined by Cowboy Bob Orton along with his horse, uh, Indigo. And again, well, we welcome Indigo as well. That's a fine-looking animal you have there, Mr. Orton. Isn't it? It really is. Uh, this is this is an Appaloosa? Yes, it is. All right. The uh, What do you think so far of uh, this horse, Alfred? Well, it's a trusty-looking steed, but is there something wrong with it? It has sort of um, spots on it. No, that's, uh, that's an Appaloosa. It's uh, not a thing wrong with it. As a matter of fact, it's a fine-looking animal. And you're going to demonstrate, are you not, Mr. Wharton? Uh, Put a saddle on him and, you can and end the Lord. All right. Pardon? Well, I'll mm-hmm. pick it. What was that? No, I don't... You, know, he, you didn't hear that, Alfred. He just said he was going to attempt to put the saddle on the horse. You're going to demonstrate that? Yeah. Uh, easy, boy. Easy. Uh, he looks like he's going to... Uh, that, it's a, shall, shall I just kind of hold this here while you uh, saddle him up a little bit and... Uh, Fine looking. You are a nice horsey, right? This is this is not uh, Ed. Uh, the, what is it? The talking horse? What was it? Mr. Ed. Mr. Ed. Yes. Thank you very much. You got that twisted, uh, twisted around here, Mr. Orton. A horse is a horse. No. Oh, excuse me. Wait a minute. What do you? You? I've, I've never seen anyone saddle a horse quite like that before. You will excuse him, won't you, Indigo? He's a rather unusual talent, isn't he? Yeah. No is. comment from the horse. That's an intelligent-looking horse, but does uh, it bite or anything? Well, like actually, that? Uh, I, it was eating its the leather bridle there. I don't think I was doing a very good job of holding. Would you like to hold the horse, Alfred? Not really. No, thank you. What do you know about horses, Alfred? Absolutely nothing. You don't know. I was once invited by the Duke of Westminster to go on a fox hunt, and. Uh, I couldn't stand the thought of chasing a poor little fox or rushing a horse through all those fields. Well, now, the saddles in England are considerably different than, than the, the, the saddle, is it not? Yes, very much so. We don't have those uh, horn things on the top there. The horn and, things? Uh, mm-hmm. Yes, and the... Uh, <laughs> good good horsey. Are, it is trying good to horsey. bite you, see? <laughs> no, I that don't think so. That is a dangerous thing. That, well, is, that animal could be dangerous. Beg, excuse me, let's, if I can just look... Nice horsey. Good horsey. Good. Good. Beg your pardon? Looks the way you taste the way. Now, what are you doing here? You're cinching him up, is that right? Oh, yeah. Now, what happens if uh, if you don't cinch this saddle up uh, correctly? Well, then who's ever riding is going to take a bump. <laughs> take a mm. bump? I, I would think so. Gosh. Uh, and does the horse object to being cinched up like this? No. Nah. He doesn't mind it at all? Not a bit. When I've been told that on occasion a horse is, will attempt to uh, extend his... Uh, oh. That's it. Hold it See, up there, he's boy. backing off. Is it? He would ex- it sort of extend his stomach, kind of like so that. Uh, nice, good boy. Look, so I say, that, look at the big Albert, feet on that horse. Is that for a particular reason? The horse has big feet for a reason. Yes. Does, does your horse have uh, unusual size feet, and so, or just this normal horse? Normal, just as normal as can be. Mm, so, Lord, you better ready. Normal. Alfred, I don't think you've been to many zoos lately, have you? No, that's a beast of burden, though, and uh, it's rather nice, but. Uh, a beast of burden? I thought that was a jackass. Well, I mean, doesn't that to. carry a load on its back somewhere, you know? Well, well have you ever had any problem? On there. Have you ever had it? You want, what do you want to do? I said, let's put, uh, let's put Alfred on there. Oh, I'm oh, not you, getting on that. Oh, Alfred, oh. would you please? Oh, oh no. That'd be... You, I've it, never, ever been on a horse, if, ever. If you've never been on a horse, surely you've got to, you've got to try it just once. Oh, really. Gosh, do you think... Do you he's, think tr- he's smiling. <laughs> Indigo is smiling oh, and he's sure. asleep. Gosh. Is a... He's trying to Do you think Indigo would something. object if Alfred, uh, an Englishman uh, such as it is, not a bit. would not object at all? <sighs> Alfred, come on, try it just once, will you? Well, 
You've never been on it before. Sure Bring it can... a little bit closer and let me test it with my hands first. Uh, all right. Well, we're going to have to. Okay, come here, horsey. Come on. Horsey. Come on. Let's come see. on. Well, good. The horse is... Uh... Good horse. Oh, good. I'll tell you good. what, let me, let me get up here. Nice horse. Nice right. horse. There's a nice yes, horse. right. All right. And now, uh, Alfred, uh, wait a minute. That's a long jump. That you, we don't want jump. to set the Olympic uh, long jump record mm. here, do we? Come a little closer, horsey. Yeah, let me get him back. Well, no, I don't think that's exactly the way you talk to horses, Alfred. You... Uh, it's pretty close, though. It is? Yeah. All right. And we're oh, having the horses of quite oh, a contrary, much like its, its is. owner, I would Push think. it over here. We could just a little bit push it further yeah, down this it. way, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Just a one, yeah. one, one little bit one, little yeah. further down. Alfred, there. Right. Now, do you... <laughs> let's do it. Steady now. Steady she goes. Take that horn now. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> there you go, Alfred. You've got it, Alfred. Alfred, you've got it. Wait a minute. Can you get the leg over there? Huh? Wait. Wait a minute. No. Oh, whoa. 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 Whoa, whoa Alfred. Good, whoa. good horse. Hang on to the good horse. Good. Hang on to the horsey there. Can still, you? boy. Still, still. There's a good boy. There. Well, let me ask you. Can, can you? Could John Wayne up there? Well, John I don't Wayne, think that's uh, my John feet Wayne. Don't fit into the things. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Orton, do you know how to make your horse me? buck? Yeah. You want no. To give no. Time? Don't do that. Well, Please. What, we, you know, I don't know that, that, uh, oh, there, now that looks, there. now, there. There you go. All right, Cowboy Bob Orton, along with <laughs> Lonesome uh, himself, on his riding off into the sunset. Thank you very much for joining us. Alfred Hayes <laughs> rides off into the sunset along with Cowboy Bob Orton and right, Indigo. Yeah, we thank you very much for joining us, and there it goes. Hang on, Alfred. Whoa. There goes Alfred Hayes. We'll be back with more too.
the fabulous Russo Brothers.
station had my radio playing all my rock and roll station so I want to tell you, I have never, ever been more happy in my entire life. I have a man that is absolutely, in my mind, that truly the magnificent one, the best that I have ever seen, Mr. Don Morocco, and I have his permission to interview him on the pit, and I want you to know, I want you to know, man, what a pleasure, I mean a sincere pleasure it is to have you, man. You know, I've been invited to Carson, I've been invited to Donahue, Merv Griffin, Richard Belker, all the rest. But this is really my first chance to be with a star of your caliber. And it's so exciting, I can feel it all over. You know why? You're a man of many, many words. You've always been a man of many, many words. Just a oratory prose is fantastic. But you know what? Your actions have always spoken louder than your words. But you're the same kind of man. Uh, you're the exact same kind of man, you see. When we say something just like you, you go and back it up. These people here, they talk and talk and talk, and then they never do a dog dog thing, but go home and, 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 and eat potato chips and, and wonder where their women are. Oh, yeah, they can be professional wrestlers. Oh, yeah, I can be just like Roddy Piper if they let me. People always say, Mr. Fuji's helping me, and you need Ace's help. A man of your caliber. Liar. That is pure. Listen, I want to ask you something. I know this is kind of unusual, but I have admired you more than anybody in the wrestling world. Could I have your t-shirt? Could, could I have yours? I, I love it. You want to swap t-shirts? You want to swap t-shirts? Ah, very, very good. Oh, so, run a hook. Very good. Good. Very close relation. Very, very good relation. Ah, very, very, very good.
Inflation got to a beat and began to shout. You a dinosaur, bro. A dinosaur, bro. And you're always lying to your friends. You a dinosaur, bro. A dinosaur, bro. And you never get nothing in the end. Thirty-eight pounds. The Rebel, Dick Slater.
Yeah.